Knockout in two minutes, part two. We create a simple knockout application called Knockout Diary 2. Add the knockout library to the application. The application is created. Knockout library is included. Clear the template file. Run it into the embedded WebKit browser, drag the JavaScript file into the HTML file, and then you can start using it. Create a script block for JavaScript. Create a new view model, the basic building block of a knockout application. In there, define our properties. So first of all, a name that we assign to a string and bind the view model. Once we've bound the view model, we can use the data bind attribute from knockout in our DOM elements to refer to properties that we've defined in the view model. The simplest example is now complete. The simplest knockout example that can be imagined is complete. We'll add an input field to it. The input field will let the user enter the name and it will be echoed back to them in the span below that. Instead of binding the text, we're going to now bind the value. The value of the input field is now bound to the property. When it changes, we will see the change also in the span because this is also bound to that same property. Now, however, we go a step further and we have an observable array. The observable array contains the courses that the person, probably a student, is following. In this case, history and geography. Using the observable array allows us to use the for each in the data band. So we go into the unordered list and we connect in there the data bind for each and we refer here to courses which we've defined in our view model. Inside of the unordered list we can then use data bind to refer to the title within the courses and we have our history and our geography in the observable list displayed.